Hey fellas, Al Spence here for Golf Coast Custom Models. Promised you that update on this Comet kit we're doing. Right there. So, I got a couple parts I want to show you. I opened up my other kit, the one I did a review on. I got that motor mount out I wanted to show you. There's some fine tires, some slicks they got. I gotta scuff them up for them, other than that. And then I paint mine inside here black, you know. The inner the back panel wall of it. A mount plate, I guess you'd call it. Anyways, fellas, I'm scatterbrain. Trying not to wake my mama up. Of course, y'all know how that goes. Hey, here's that motor mount. Right there. Let me hold it up. I'm going to do a mega zoom here, so watch the camera bouncing. <laughs> Yeehaw! Raw motion sickness, folks. Right there, see that? Now this dude, it goes this way. Okay, it's gonna have like a, I tried to show you that 45 or, no, it's like a 25 degree angle, let's get real. And it, and you know, and he mounted up on, you know, like that, and the block's gonna sit up on here, the flat side. And like I was saying in the last kit review, I wanted to cover this with because it tricked me, it threw me for a loop. I've never first kit first kit I ever seen this on. So down up here underneath, well, it, it, it'll show you pretty good on it how to mount it. And this one again would mount this way. You know, it's gonna sit and curve in one each side. Folks, let that dry. Let her dry good. I use that uh, glue that I use. I don't think anybody else uses it. I never heard of it. I get it at Hobby Lobby. It's six something, almost seven bucks. It's kind of pricey for me. But uh, what's it called? GS Hypo Cement. Fine stuff, as Andy Griffith would say. It's got an applicator tip, real fine tip on it. It's uh, it, it it's not super glue, but it's dang sure close, fellas. It's uh, it'll set up good and taunt. So, but hit my age, I got glasses, new ones. I just don't wear them. I get this fishbowl look effect. Everything around me is kind of like rounded. It's weird. Kind of like taking back psychedelic air, listening to some early rock music. Speaking of which, I lost all my albums. I mean, five milk crates of them, classic rock, stuff from my dad had, that left to me, and then I had them. And plus my collection, vinyls, I mean a bunch. I'd say 800, better. Not one less than 800 LPs. Double albums, deluxe sets, everything. Guys, I even had that Cheech and Chong record that had that rolling paper in it. <laughs> and the paper was still in it. But damn shame. So hey, any of you guys got any classic records you got doubles of, if you want to sell, let me know. Okay, I'm screwing around. I can't get the lid on. I gotta sit down and get a better light. Anyways, so you get your motor mounts on, let them set up good. There's your headers. You gotta hang the headers on there. Hang the headers on, and then when you set your engine down in, I, I kinda held it like this, and put my finger down over top on the carbs before the air cleaner was on, and got it in place, and set each header up on there and glued it. So, it's tricky. Then you gotta put your rear end in, dry shaft rear end. It's got old school traction bars as you can see. Nothing, you know. But uh, that, that was a bear uh, getting that rascal done. So that's really the, you know, the major trickster of it. So there's a chassis, y'all. Uh, briefed you on the slicks. They're tires, man, but they're nice. They're kind of pliable and they're soft. They're really super cool. Uh, here's, here's the body. You got the pinstriping and everything on it. 
You can see on the hood, in real fine looking detail lines, those blue pinstripes. They only come around, of course, right here on this side and, and then here in the back. And, you know, it's got your act, the, the farming Arnie Burswick. You, you got to glue your door handles on. Uh, the wipers. I looked up, he does have, he did run wipers. I even found a live video of this car racing. Except when the video I seen, he had the a fuel injection with velocity stacks sticking up. So it was later in the season or the next season when he ran that. Um, the only thing I didn't like was the, the rear panel back here with the tail lights. They don't have the clear tail lights that you glue in this or nothing. So you got to kind of, I use clear and paint it over and got the end depth on it and then just took my thumb and wiped it off. I let it sit about 40 seconds and then wiped it. Put a couple coats on and kept wiping it off. It came out pretty good looking. Looks like tail lights to me. Uh, bare metal foil. Fellas, your wing windows are bare to get in. They glue from the inside. You put them up inside here and get a little kind of like tracks in there. And then the front and the rear windshield, they glue in from the outside. So keep that in mind. If you, I, I bare metal foil mine. Uh, I wish I would have waited. It don't look bad. But, you know, well, it is what it is. So, and it's the Comet. Um, got the grill, detailed depth looking. I kind of smoke tinted on the headlights a little bit, toning down. I noticed his had it in the video. I put my runners in, parking lights up there. Look real, don't they? <laughs> Anyways, that's about it, guys. I just want to run that down on you. Hey, let me show you this other one I'm doing next. I, I got to get this done. This is, like I said, this is a customer. A customer and my buddy and a friend. You know, it's funny. He's a real good friend of mine, and I've never actually broke bread or met the cat. But he knows who you are. You know you're out there. And we shall call him Brother Bobby. <laughs> Hey, look at here. I always wanted to do this one. Larry Griffiths. 68 uh, Dart, super stock, classic build. So I got her painted and fold up, bare metal. Gotta put my door handles on, don't sweat that guy. We don't sweat the big stuff. Now this car, through the season, he ran a couple of seasons actually. Changed, all he did was change some trim on it. But he's got a couple other decals up here I noticed. He had a Hurst shifter and stuff. Uh, I may add a couple more on it, so, you know, they changed, you know, we've talked about that before. You know, somebody says, well, that ain't right. That sponsor ain't in the decal kit. I didn't see it. Well, no, fellas, but just go online and look at the cars. You can see, I mean, they change sponsorships like you change drawers. Some of you hillbillies, I know you don't change them every other day. Come on now. <laughs> but I'm kidding you. Look here. It's going to look popping when I get the hood pin chrome pins on here. This will pop the whole front end. It's going to look sweet. So, um, really all I can update you on that. I got the body done. I got the engine partly built. Fixing to wire it. So, but I got to get Bobby's car done first here. Like I said, you know, this is the updates for the Comet. You know, this is kind of just a bonus. Got a, not a killer white paint job on that bad boy, didn't I? You know, it, some people say, well, did you buff it out? Did you, you know, sandpaper 1200 grid plus, and I don't do that. You know, I put four coats of clear on this. And, and if that ain't enough, man, come on, fella. When you get it home, you can do it. Because I tell you what, I did a couple of these cars like that. And I just plain got carried away. Ended up rubbing into the paint and stuff, and I... I, I don't have that kind of money to purple pond these rascals and reshoot and clear coat again and, and you know so I don't press my luck on that if I can lay a good shiny paint job down hand puff it rub it out real good with fine and I use this let me show you what I use let me tell you what I use Tanya rubber compound fine coarse that's all. Dab of that, a little water, and I hit it real good. And uh, I use these 
real soft cloths or the black t-shirt my grandson gets a stain or a hole I, I chop them up so you know that's all I do but that's you know yeah I probably could buff it and get that 1200 plus grid sandpaper and but heck I can hell I can see my I can part my hair in there right now anyways fellas you have a good weekend man hey pop me a line tell me what you're building what are you into and you get building this rascal, if you get any hung up on or anything, give me a holler. If I can help you, you know me, I dang sure will. The next video you're going to see, this will be done, and I'll have Larry Griffith's dart. Eh, probably 40%. I'll probably have the chassis mostly done and the engine wired, so I'll do an update on that one too, okay? You guys have a great weekend. Take care of one another. And this is Al Spence for Golf Coast Custom Models. Holler at you later, man. Bye-bye.